Los Angeles police are investigating 12 unsolved homicides from the 1960s to see if there might be a connection with the Charles Manson killings. The Los Angeles Times reports, Police have not disclosed details of the homicides that apparently took place in areas near where Manson was known to hang out. Investigators hope to get access to audio tapes recorded in 1969 between Charles Tex Watson, one of Manson's followers, and his now deceased attorney Bill Boyd. L.A. PDCMDR. Sandy Smith says police are doing this for the families of the victims, the thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Newspaper says. These cases have circumstances that are similar to some of the Manson killings, he says. We are hoping that these Tex Watson tapes can provide us further clues on these cases. The federal judge in Texas, however, has temporarily blocked the LAPD's attempt to use a search warrant to obtain the old audio tapes, the Associated Press reports. Smith says the cases are similar to some of the Manson killings and police hope the tape can provide further clues, the Times reports. In his ruling, U.S. District thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Judge Richard Eschel criticized the LAPD for what he called an apparent attempt to circumvent a court order making the tapes off-limits until Watson's appeal of a previous ruling in bankruptcy court can be heard. Watson, who is serving a life sentence in California for his role in the 1969 murders of actress Sharon Tate and six others, has said in court documents that the LAPD should be allowed to listen to the tapes but not possess them. He also has indicated that the Manson family was not responsible for other killings.